welcome to our course introduction to optical fibers in this video we are going to discuss the different types of optical fiber so let's begin the optical fibers are classified based on various parameters so what are those let's see optical fibers are classified based on material then they are also classified based on the number of modes here modes that means the way that light propagate through an optical fiber and they are classified based on the refractive index profile that is how the refractive index of core and cladding varies based on material basically how uh, these optical fibers are made up of whether they are made up of glass or the optical fibers are made up of plastic they are classified based on the mode of propagation the optical fibers are classified in single mode and multi mode optical fiber and finally based on refractive index profile they are classified as a step index optical fiber and graded index optical fiber we are going to discuss about these different types in more detail first of all we will discuss how these optical fibers are classified based on material the material that is used for making optical fibers are generally silica or plastic that is glass or plastic and the material when we want to choose to make the optical fiber they should possess certain important properties what are those they should be a efficient guide for the light waves then they must possess low scattering losses and the absorption attenuation and dispersion of optical energy that must be low so that the performance of optical fiber will be very much uh, better or good we can say based on the material which is used for fabrication they are classified as glass glass optical fiber it means if the core of an optical fiber and cladding of an optical fiber both of those are made up of glass remember even though those are made up of glass the refractive index should be different then such kind of optical fiber is known as glass glass optical fiber the other type is glass plastic optical fiber now here you may judge that what is this that if the core of an optical fiber is made up of glass and cladding if it is made up of plastic then we can say it is glass of op plastic optical fiber and the third type is plastic plastic optical fiber that means the core and cladding both of those are made up of transparent plastic material so this is the classification based on the material let's now see the next important uh, way of uh, differentiating the optical fibers that is based on mode of propagation of light so there are two different types based on this that is single mode optical fiber and multi mode optical fiber as the name suggest we can easily judge that what it could be as i told you that mode means how light propagate through an optical fiber so if there is only single path single way that light can propagate we can say such optical fiber as single mode and if there are multiple paths possible uh, in an optical fiber then we can say that is multi mode optical fiber let consider this is a, a kind of a single mode optical fiber where you can find core and cladding and here if there is only one path okay it may be along the principal axis or sometimes it may be possible along uh, this zigzag path also okay then such kind of optical fiber is known as single mode optical fiber whereas in multi mode optical fiber you find that change that the diameter of core is bigger than that of the core diameter of single mode so here there is a possibility of multiple paths that light can pass through this optical fiber there is only one path available in single mode whereas multiple paths are available in multi mode the core diameter is very small in the order of 3 micrometer whereas in multi mode the core diameter is very large up to 50 micrometer in size there is no dispersion as there is a single path whereas there is possibility of dispersion of the light rays in multi mode optical fiber next uh, the single mode optical fiber okay there the bandwidth is very high 
up to 1000 megahertz whereas in multimode optical fiber we have lower bandwidth okay that is up to 50 megahertz then for long distance communication single mode optical fibers are very useful compared to that of the multimode optical fibers next the fabrication is difficult and very costly in single mode optical fiber whereas compared to that in multimode optical fiber fabrication is easy and comparatively cheap we will discuss now the next way of classifying the optical fibers that is based on the refractive index profile based on this refractive index profile the optical fibers are classified as step index optical fiber and next is graded index optical fiber we will discuss now in detail about step index optical fiber as this name you may see suggest that there is the step like refractive index change we find in case of optical fiber so how it is that let's see so well, this is a step index optical fiber where the this is a core and this is a cladding and the refractive index of core let's say we have that is n1 and refractive index of cladding that say let we have as n2 we know that in optical fiber n1 is always greater than n2 so throughout the radial distance of this core if the refractive index of core remains constant and greater than that of cladding and at the boundary of core cladding abruptly if this refractive index change then such kind of optical fiber we call it as step index optical fiber it may have a single mode or it may have a multi mode the more correct idea about the index profile we get by this particular graph here i shown along this x axis the radial distance that means let me show here suppose if i show the cross sectional view of optical fiber suppose this is a core this is the center of the optical fiber so radially as i go to a uh, left or right hand side then i find the refractive index of this core which is n1 that remains constant throughout the core of an optical fiber so here 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 anywhere if i say the value of refractive index of core that is constant at any of these points and abruptly after this core okay as we enter into the region of cladding here the refractive index suddenly drops okay so if i say that refractive index of core for a while as 1.5 and refractive index of cladding as 1.4 here then at this core cladding interface it abruptly changes and then again you find in cladding it has a constant refractive index so if you draw a graph of a refractive index versus this radial distance then we can find in this graph we get a structure like a step and that's why this kind of optical fibers are called as step index optical fiber now let us discuss the next type that is graded index optical fiber graded this word is used for gradually decreasing a refractive index optical fibers so how it is there we have let's see so in this optical fiber you find that core has a refractive index let's say n1 and cladding has again refractive index n2 but unlike in step index optical fiber the refractive index of core is not constant throughout its radial path at the principal axis the refractive index of this core is very high as we go from uh, radially outward towards the cladding side the refractive index gradually decreases so if i say that refractive index of core at this particular principal axis is 1.5 as i go to this cladding uh, interface i find the refractive index slowly decreases it may be 1.49 or 1.48 and so on 1.47 let's say and then after that cladding has constant uh, refractive index throughout its diameter suppose its refractive index is 1.46 then it is constant throughout its diameter so because of this when light enter into the core okay you find that instead of traveling in a straight line it bends because as this refractive index gradually decreasing it bends because of 
change in the refractive indices of layers of this core and that's why it will follow such a loop like structure. So in graded index optical fiber you find that light rays travels in the form of loop and if we see the graph of refractive index versus radial distance then you may find here that refractive index of core is gradually decreasing okay as we go outward and cladding has a constant refractive index. So we get a graph of index profile like this. The diameter of the core is very large in graded index optical fiber and it is more uh, complex we can say and there we find more uh, attenuation as well as losses in case of graded index optical fiber their cost is also very high. So this is all about the various types of optical fiber which we classified based on various parameters. Some may also classify optical fibers by combining uh, the mode and this refractive index profile. By combining these two actually criteria we can classify optical fiber in three different ways. We can say step index, single mode optical fiber. By combining these two, then we may have step index, multi mode optical fibers, multi mode optical fibers, and third type will be here graded index multi-mode optical fibers multi-mode optical fibers so by combining these two parameters also one may classify optical fibers in these three categories and whatever we discussed just now you can combine those features in explaining these particular types of optical fiber i hope you understood the optical fiber in detail thank you